All right, what's up, everybody? It's Ballet at Brand. We'll get into the video in just a second here. So what this little evergreen content clip is going to be about is Richard has recently talked about, instead of P-hex, E-hex, all that bullshit, he's talking about hex on Ethereum being called E-hex. And then just hex on Pulse Chain is just going to be called hex. It's not going to be called P-hex, none of that. So now we have a nomenclature and we have a you know dictionary of what we need to start calling hex and what we need to start calling hex on Ethereum, which is e-hex. So without further ado, I want to get into the video, this little clip that I made, and then, uh, then I can kind of give just a few minutes of analysis. So let me get into that clip right now. The hex on pulse, which we're just gonna call hex. So some of the documentation needs to be upgraded because it was going to be e-hex and p-hex, but we're just going to make it hex and e-hex. So ERC-20s that are forked onto Pulse, or they're going to just be called their native name. So like Chainlink on Ethereum, which is Link, is going to be bridged over and called e-link for Link from Ethereum. And then on Pulse, it's just going to be called Link. So <clears throat> need to update the naming conventions document a little bit. Not that big a change. Okay, everyone. So so that's the major clip, right? The reason that this is such an important thing that I wanted to talk about is because it's a very big power move, right? Currently, Vitalik has just had all of the ERC-20 tokens. You know, people have willfully chosen them to be built, say, on Ethereum, just like Hex. But Richard's doing a big power move with calling all of the originally native ERC-20s, just calling them by their name, but on the Pulse chain. And then with the bridge itself, it's going to be called, you know, E-Link and E-Hex and E-USDC. The reason that I think that that's powerful is because it's almost setting a precedent saying, hey, this is where the new network is. This is where the, you know, better, faster, stronger, more reliable, more uptime, more decentralized, uh, more secure. This is where that blockchain occurs, and that's on Pulse Chain. And it's it's awesome. I see a lot of people saying, "Hey, don't you think that there was too much money sacrificed by the you know? You take the money that was sacrificed and multiply it by the supply and all that good stuff that they tell me in the comments, and then they say like, isn't that going to be too high of a market cap? And like, these are not the things to be focused." focusing on, right? It's it's not the, the market cap that you can trade against. It's the, um, not even the volume, but it's whatever price you can sell it for, how much liquidity, stuff like that that's in there. So that's all I wanted to say is that Richard is a damn genius and he's always a thought leader. So with this one specifically, I think that he's really doing a, you know, a well done job thought leading because he's telling the whole industry that this network right here, is going to be the new network like it is the internet it's not all these you know different other names and so it's a uh, it's just another amazing thing that richard hart has uh, thought thought leaded and uh, just wanted to say shout out to that right it's very important for for people to understand this even so to where i make a little thumbnail because you know normally what someone would consider hex right now is just hex on ethereum but now since we're going to have two copies, you need to distinguish which one is going to be the original and which one's going to be, you know, the one with a another, you know, letter in front of it. So it's going to be Ethereum hex and then it's going to be hex. So I think that's really cool. That's all I've said. Uh, that's going to be the end of this video. So shout out to everyone. Hope you guys are liking this uh, this evergreen content. I guess I guess some people are. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of try and continue to do more of them as I find things that are just relevant to hexagons and then just very well thought out. So this is another great thought lead example and experiment by uh, Richard.